Hello YouTube, I'm gonna basically work on showing how to use the program now. This is our third tutorial, so if you haven't seen the other two, I suggest working on the first one and um, working your way up to the third. So, let's basically just simplify some things and make it a little more organized first. So let's go to my computer, um, local disk, pilo, M creator, M creator the version, and scroll down to M creator the exe file or the application, whatever. Um, and you want to go send to desktop. So yeah, now you have a shortcut. Now we don't need to keep going back there all the time. So what have I, I've done so far is I made a folder with paint.net and the um, files from the previous first tutorial excuse me tutorial uh, with um, armor mobs items and terrain file that we got from the bin file uh, bin dot minecraft so we're just gonna stick that one in there so now when we make our mods we can just go in here and click on the sh shortcut so all right let's start up the program and I'll basically walk you through where everything is and stuff. Okay. Um, so this is basically the main menu. To create a mod, you can click here, and I'll create a mod. Um, your projects go away. No, I don't want you up. Um, so new mods go here. Um, you just type in. There's all these that we'll cover eventually. Um, your projects window is where you export your mod after you finish creating it, delete them, and if you know coding, you can also edit them. Uh, to the right of the window, you can open up the Minecraft to test your thing out. I'll show you what it basically do. It's the top one right up here. This will um, load right here. This is totally normal. Create this. And you don't need to log into Minecraft when it does this. It's in just a regular Minecraft with no login information. It's like a free Minecraft thing. just take a second. Okay, so basically you just go to your single player world and create a new world when you need to. Uh, they do have a multiplayer server but it's never up. Um, I don't know why, but maybe they stop. Um, right here is where all your mods are um, made, so it'll tell you all the mods you have installed. Um, if you go to options, it gives you options on what you want. I usually turn off music and sound because, you know, it's just kind of a interferes when you're trying to find something and it's loud, obnoxious, especially when recording. Um, video settings. It's always on default far, so if you have like 32-bit just turn it down to short. Don't really need it too far. Bring that up. Um, don't need it all fancy. Smooth lighting. Yeah, just things you don't really need. Clouds. Turn clouds off. I'll save some lag. Controls. Don't really need to be there. So that's basically what you need to do there. So done, done. And when you're exiting out, just click on that, exit. And this will pop up. It's basically just telling you what happened and stuff. It's just telling you the events. It's really nothing. Don't worry about it. It's not a crash report. Um, to this side, we have where you add your textures and decompile. This will restart the program, will get rid of any information um, 
such as textures and stuff, as this will just basically debug the program, and it won't get rid of any of your mods or anything like that, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but this one definitely will. Um, to add a texture, you just go in here, let's start with that. Um, you load an image. Um, let's open up paint.net. File, open, MC Creator, files. Let's just open a block. Just change it so we know what we're doing. Um, adjustments, hue. desktop, wooden planks, there's our wooden planks, that's the texture we just made. So they do have a thing in here where you can mix different textures and stuff, but I prefer using paint.net because it's just more professional and it's easier to use. Um, so basically you can either make it a block, which this is a block, or you can make it an item. If it's an item, it'll be just a 2D texture. As if it was block, it'll look like this. Um, yeah, so if you're going to do, say, armor, I haven't really exper experimented much with the armor, but I'm guessing open Guessing that you would basically open up, say, you see, so this is where I would have to add some color tone to it. Let's make it. down 20, 100%. Save as. Uh, desktop. I have to look into that. Pretty sure there's a actually. Thought you used the armor. I'll have to look into that more to watch a tutorial. Um or try finding one at least. <laughs> It's hard to find tutorials for this program. Um, 
for mob skins, I know how to do that. So file. Mob. Let's just do a simple pig. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing a pig. Not in that sense, but you know. Um I want my pig to be white. Or lighter at least. Let's do maybe one no seventy-five. There we go, it's a lighter pig. I'll save as So if we go over here, we go add mob texture, and then we go to our desktop, and then we go and add pig. It'll add the pig texture. It'll just take a second to upload. Then we go to import 3D mob uh, I think that's the one. Oh, never mind it's when you create a new mob but that's basically how you import the um, the texture so and if you you find the um, the background too dark or whatever you can't see what you're doing just Click that um, cycle thing right here, right where my mouse is, and it'll change the um, picture in the background. That's a nice one to work with. I usually work with that one. Um, if you just a warning, the pr program's pretty tip um, typical to say you have to restart the program when you don't exit out properly, and that occurs when you're opening a file or whatever and you don't actually upload it um, for this version so try to get into habit or try exiting or um, clicking the exit button here um, settings basically just are here so fancy graphics like I unchecked all that already so I don't need to worry about all that um, yeah so that's for the um, third tutorial, and um, I'll walk you through items next tutorial. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.